Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. I am covering the tragedy out of Moscow, Idaho. Four college students brutally stabbed in a home during the early morning hours of November 13th, 2022. Police have made no arrests. They haven't publicly identified any suspects who did it. Let's talk about a rumor. Let's talk about a rumor going on right now. There is a photo circulating on the internet of one of the surviving victims, Dylan Mortensen, and she is wearing a pink ski mask, seen with a guy that's wearing a black ski mask, and people are saying this man with the black ski mask was seen around the home on the around the time of the murders in the middle of the night. I'm going to show you this post right now. So this post is widely circulating on the internet. Okay, so I looked at Dylan's VSCO page and she's got a photo with her boyfriend on there wearing both wearing ski masks. The right photo is the rumored ski mask photo that apparently seemed to be around the house at the time of the killings from Snapchat. So Quinn Kelly, who is the boyfriend of Dylan Mortensen, he responded to that and he provided a little bit of insight, his version about that photo. And I'm going to share that with you here. So QK Trey at Q Kelly 11 responded to a post on Twitter where someone was posting a photograph of two individuals in ski masks, one pink ski mask, one black ski mask. Now Q Kelly 11 is Quinn Kelly, the boyfriend of Dylan Mortensen, Dylan Mortensen, one of the surviving victims at the house. He responds, for one, that ain't me in the photo. Never even put on a ski mask. And secondly, you can see the date that the VSCO photo was taken. The other photo is where I was that night. And he attaches a photo here. And it's a photo of Dylan's boyfriend, Quinn. It says, Boise, Idaho, November 13th, 2022 at 2.46 a.m. So the boyfriend is claiming he was in Boise at 2.46 a.m. Boise is five hours from Moscow. So he also responds, if you find a photo of me with a ski mask, please let me know. That is a girl in the black ski mask and Dylan is in the pink. So the boyfriend of Dylan is claiming that Dylan is in the pink. Claiming that Dylan is in the pink there and whoever this is, the boyfriend is claiming is a female. And Dylan posted this on her social media account on February 6, 2021. Her in a mask. So boyfriend of Dylan confirms that Dylan is in the ski mask here. So he's confirming that Dylan was wearing a pink ski mask. It seems like that post was from earlier in the year, not at the time of the murders. And Dylan's boyfriend, Quinn, is saying the other person in the ski mask is not a male, but a female. So I just want to show that and share that information out there because there is people are circulating saying Dylan is involved with a guy who was seen looking in house windows or in the area around the time when the murders happened. It had to be both of them. Well, I wanted to provide some insight, not saying that Dylan didn't do this. And I'm not saying Dylan did this crime, but providing more insight about the ski mask situation. She was wearing a ski mask. So that's what's going on there. This case is unsolved. What happened? Who did it? If you have any information, contact Moscow police, FBI, Idaho State Police. There's someone on the loose.
people are just on edge. You see the boyfriend of Dylan speaking out. What's going on in Moscow? Is this case going to be solved soon? Tensions are running high. Everyone be safe. God bless.